Okay, now let's see which are the parts that are the inside. First thing is the GSM board, then there's a 5 volt power supply, then two relays, and then Arduino. It can be an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Nano. That's for the software control. About the GSM board, there should be a SIM card inside. You can insert any company's SIM card, but make sure that the SIM should have network in your region. The board which I have used is GSM SIM 800 board. Uh, then there are three lights that you can see in this board. From the right side, it's red, blue and a yellow. Then the power supply that is connected, that's a, like I have connected a phone charger. It's a 5 volt charger. 5 volt 2 amps is ideally used. The middle bulb that you can see, that is the blue one. That should be constant. That depends upon your power supply. Uh, like if there is some variation in that, that blue light will start blinking in between. So you just have to check with the power section that blinks. Then the last one is which is blinking like uh, it now it's blinking once in three seconds. That means the SIM card is recognized with your board and your SIM card is in network with this board. If the last the green light starts blinking every second. That means your SIM card is still searching for network, it's not getting network in this region. The entire wire connections that is given in the description below the video. Moving on to the relays, I have used two relays. They are 250 volts, 10 amps. That's the maximum capacity of it. These are output from the two relays. Here you can connect tube light, fan, water pump or anything that you want to control through your phone. Now when the relay should get on and off depends completely on the code that we have written onto the Arduino. You can also add delays, counters, timers and customize the code as per your need. You just have to connect the Arduino to your laptop and do the programming part. The program which I have used, I have put it in the description below. You can use it. It's for two outputs, I mean two relays. Okay, now just for an example. Uh, I'll just connect a simple bulb circuit in the first one, the first relay, I mean. So as for the code that I have put into the Arduino, the first thing that you have to do is you have to call onto the number which is on that SIM. Once you call, it will answer your call. Then you have to press two digits. The first one, it can be one or two, indicating you are selecting the first relay or the second relay. After that, again you have to press 1 or 2, where 1 indicates on and 2 indicates off. I am calling on the number on the sim. So now I pressed 1, 1. That means I have selected the first one and on it. Now again to off it, I will call it again. Once it answers, I will have to press 1 selecting it and 2 to off it. The action starts after you end the call. Here I put a small manual operation box just besides it. Uh, so you can end the automatic system and use it manually. You just have to toggle the red switches and you can use the white switch for manual operation. This is just for the case like if your sim goes out of network or any other thing like that. This way you can connect and control any of your home appliances from any part of the world by just giving a phone ring call. I made this for watering plants like when you are not there in the house or gone out for a month or something. You can still water your plants by just giving a phone ring call. The entire wire connections from GSM to Arduino, then Arduino to the relays, all the power supply, everything is given below in the description. Also the code is given in the description. It's easy to make. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you.